It's been six months since the world fell apart. And when it fell, it went fast. I can't believe that a cabal of liberal terrorists could fall for the lies spewed by an elite mainstream media. That's just what the enemy needed to create enough chaos to start a civil war. And now, it's all gone. Not for us, though. We were prepared. We were awake. But I still can't help but think of the family I lost and the friends I must now protect. For me, the only thing that remains true in the world is the word of God. But now it feels like God has let the gates of hell open up and a spiritual battle rages every day. I know God is with me, but maybe we deserve it for allowing all this to happen. yourself a new truck? The old one's dead. You been waiting long? Nah, it's good to see you, Russ. Just talking to God. Yeah. How's the drive in? See anything? No, nothing crazy. I mean, I took the back road, so steered away from all the hot spots. That's good. Yeah. You got your stuff, let's load you up. Joe's got you set up pretty good. We got some charcoal tabs, ointments, gauze, salt tabs. We got a bunch of stuff in there. Thank you, Hunter. Our supplies are getting really low. Yeah, look, we're gonna help you as long as we can. How are things at the ranch? It's not good. Hunter, we're down to nine people. Had to quarantine 20 of us. Having to imprison people that are essentially prisoners already, it's gotta be tough. I gotta shoot straight with you, Hunter. Penny's one of the sick. I'm really sorry to hear that. You know what, that scares me more than anything. A disease coming through. Once that happens, it spreads like a wildfire. It should have been me. I was out. A family came in, needed some help. One of their kids was sick. You ever think death is better than this? No. God's got a plan for us. Dead man, Christian! Why are you hiding? Where are you, Christian?
Come out, Christian, and I'll let you live. I will not hesitate to put a bullet right in your head. You won't kill me, Christian. I'm no threat. I'm unarmed. It goes against your beliefs. Murder. You'll kill in self-defense. But you won't kill the defenseless. Do you ever think death is better than this? You did good. <laughs> We're making good tea. <laughs> That's oh, good. Man. That mud really helped. Yeah. Wow, this is great, guys. Yeah. Just be great getting everybody together again with the community, you know? Seems like everybody's been staying to themselves lately. Yeah, I've noticed that. This will be a good place for some normalcy around here. I like it. Jeez, Randy, you did that fast. Hey. Thanks. Sounds like Randy's fire pit's done. You want to go take a look? Yeah. Okay. Come on, Papa. Hey, should we go? We're not leaving post. C come on, look, we can all go. We'll know when Mr. Wild gets back. We stay on post. We'll check it out later.
show. Sorry. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> I'm coming. <sighs> wow, you guys. Really great job, the both of you. Thank you. We just uh, wanted to say, you know, we're thankful to be a part of Crossroads. You know, when I was a kid, I used to love sitting around the fire and just talk, talk to friends. But for me, it was uh, mostly about talking to God. Well, I think that this is the perfect place to do just that. Ah, uh, well, I made a little something, obviously. Uh, I just had a spare piece of scrap metal that I wanted to make something special out of, so it's for y'all. So, thank you. Despite our circumstances, God has blessed us mightily. Paul, if you would. Please, everybody gather around. Join in our celebration. In the 10th chapter of Hebrews, it says, let us consider how to stir up one another with love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as we see the day drawing near. Mm -hmm. Amen. And like Paul prayed, I think we need to make a habit of meeting and encouraging each other. <laughs> hey, he's booking it, guys. We got 400 yards. Get the gate. Welcome back, Mr. Wild. Thank you, Frank. How's things going around here? Doing well. Good. Hey, have you guys seen Joe? She's at the new fire pit. I got it done. You guys want to go check it out? We'll stay on post. Good man. Explain it to you later. Let me go get cleaned up. Yeah, I'll go with you. Yeah. Doesn't look like things went as smooth as you said it would. No. We got jumped at the drop. What? By who? I think it was some ISIS rebels. Last I heard, they were 300 miles out. Dad, what's wrong? They killed Robert. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. You know, it seems like every time you leave Crossroads, something goes wrong. I don't like it. I don't either, but it is what it is. We're gonna have to adapt. Thank God the only blood spilt has been mine, and I could live with that. I can't. Dad, you're all I got. I mean, you don't have to carry the entire burden of Crossroads on your shoulders. We have some capable people here to help you, me included. 
a virus spread at Robert's ranch. Even Penny's been infected. Oh, oh my God, what, was Robert? No, no, he wasn't infected. He had to quarantine his own wife. Can you imagine how hard that must have been? Everything's falling apart out there, huh? Preparing for it's one thing, living it? It's not easy, that's for sure. Something evil is brewing out there. I feel it. We'll get bolder. All right? Yeah. Just clean your ear. Nothing. Quiet as a mouse. I'm bored. Anyone up for go fish? I'm game. Yeah, deal them out. I miss. Nothing yet. Hey, really sorry about Robert. Yeah, Joe filled us in on what happened. Yeah. It's the world we live in. You may need to rethink bringing someone with you next time you go out there. It's too dangerous. I think our first priority right now is securing our defenses. I agree. You were less than 100 miles out when you got attacked, so. I want to know what's happening out there. And you're the only one who knows, Hunter, and you haven't told us anything. We've all been kept in the dark. I want answers. I'm trying to calm the fears of our town. People are scared. Who's scared? Everyone was relatively happy today at the fire pit. Paul, you lead them. You're their pastor. I might be their pastor. My faith is being tested like never before. Paul, no. Why are you saying that? Why are we still here? Paul, this is the safest place we can be. No! Not like that! We should have been raptured. Frank. Do you have a seven? Go fish. <laughs> B Billy, do you have a seven? Man. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> All seven. You're so dang lucky. That's skill. Well, ain't no skill on go fish. Just luck. Fine, but I'm lucky. Now cover me. I gotta go water a tree. All right, hurry up. I'll shuffle. Hello, Wally.
everything come out all right? Yo, what's wrong with you, man? I... I, I gotta cut my shift short. You ain't leaving your post in the middle of a shift. Wally! Wally! Paul, we hear what you're saying, but God didn't cause this. Why not? You see? Even Hunter agrees with me. I didn't say that. And every last one of us who wants to know why we born again, Jesus-loving people, haven't been raptured out of this place. Look, the last thing I'm capable of doing is having a rapture discussion with you, Paul. The world turned their back on God a long time ago, and we all saw it happening long before all this. The sexual depravity, Hollywood filling our minds with garbage, the media spewing lies, the list goes on and on. Is it not possible God said, enough? And left us here to suffer and die. You think you've seen suffering? You haven't. Because outside these gates, that's where the suffering's taking place. And it's my job to make sure it stays out there. It's time to destroy. What do you mean? Hey, hi. Sorry, sorry to bother you all, but um, have you guys seen Randy? No, I haven't. Yes. Uh, about an hour ago, he said he wasn't feeling good, and he left our trailer to, to get some air. Hey, let's just grab some flashlights and go fish him out. He could have gotten too far. Well, I have walked pretty much this entire place, and Guys, it is not like Randy to just wander off. Hey, it's okay. Let's just go find the wandering fire pit builder. <laughs> All right? Okay. Come on. Thank you. Randy! 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 This will be exceptional. What'd you say? What? Didn't you just say go check the pavilion? No, I didn't say anything. That was weird. Okay, well, let's just go to the pavilion then, yeah? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 Hunter? You okay? Dad? <laughs> Are you okay? What are you guys laughing at? N no one's laughing, Dad. Is this funny to you? Dad, no one's laughing right now. <laughs> Dad, what's wrong? Wait, you knew he was in here. You knew he was in here. How? No, no. How okay, find know? a way to get him down. How did you know? How did you know? It's beautiful. <sighs> Human suffering. It brings me such gratitude. 
Now that our new dominion has been established, we can unleash our full wrath. And when they lose all hope, they will follow anyone. Even if it has eternal consequences. Good, Dago. Maybe that will help you to occupy yourself. Master, I've made a choice. There's one that no oh, match for us. It's stronger than the rest of these Cretans. I want Hunter Wild. Did you? No, no one did. It was so real. Dad, how did you know Randy was at the pavilion? I didn't. I could have swore I heard one of you say check the pavilion. Okay, so you told me that the enemy's getting bolder, right? What kind of enemy are we dealing with here? I don't know. I can't see a face. What scares me the most is how do you fight something you can't see? Prayer? How did Randy hate himself? I really don't know. I don't see any way for it to be possible. We commit the body of our departed brother Randy. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Amen. here for you, Casey. We're not going anywhere. Randy was happy. He loved being a part of this community. I know. Randy didn't kill himself. I know it. You've got to be kidding me. What are you doing? I just need to get out of here. For what? Look, Joe, I'm just gonna go out for a couple days and look around. Dad, no. We just talked about this last night, and now you're gonna leave again. All I wanna do is go out about 50 miles, do a circle, and work my way back in. That's it. What are you running from? I'm not running away from anything, Joe. Yes, you are. Look, everything used to be so planned out. This is what we need, and you went and got it. Now you're all over the place. If we close our eyes to what's going on on the outside, we're going to wake up one day, Joe, and the enemy is going to be right here inside of our gate. Yeah, well, how is this going to go with the others? They're going to have to get over it. That doesn't sound like you at all. I don't know. Something, something feels off. 
that's an understatement. Paul freaking out about the rapture, or lack thereof. Randy hanging himself, and let's not ignore your little episode. That's a weird incident, that's all. <sighs> Joe, in my head, it's just chaos and confusion. Well, we fight against spiritual wickedness in high places. It's not gonna happen to me, Joe. Well, don't be so cavalier about it, Dad. Look, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but with, with powers and rulers of darkness. God, you're not even listening to me. I am, Joe. I'm sorry, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Fine. Go do what you have to do, and I guess I'll keep an eye on what goes on here. You're really gonna do that now. Nothing. It's always nothing. Just static. Paul, there's others out there. We just need to find them. Everything I have taught and preached for years has led me to think that we wouldn't have to endure any wrath. I know your heart, Paul. You'll get this figured out. Hey, guys. He's gone. Who? Hunter. Here we go again. Paul. Why today? We just had a suicide, if that's what it was. Hunter wasn't exactly a pillar of sanity himself. Paul, let's not go there. I'm, I'm sure he's just in shock like we all are. Just let him deal with it. Hey, um, I'm, I'm leaving Crossroads. What? And I suggest y'all do the same. Casey, wait, no, you can't leave. Claire, there is evil here, all right? I can feel it. But Casey, wait, just come here. If anybody can hear this, we really need help. A disease has ravaged our community. Please, somebody, if you can hear me. Open the gate. What, what, hold up, Wally. Oh, Casey, please, there's nothing out there. Yeah, and there's nothing in here for me anymore, either. I can't take it anymore, living in here like this. Look, Casey, the only thing that's out there is death. You won't survive a day out there by yourself. Please don't go. She's right, Casey. Come on. And so be it. No, if I'm gonna die, it's gonna be on my own terms. Not this town's. Casey, listen to me, we all love you. Okay, and I know it's been unbearable here lately, but we will get through this. Open the gate. Just... Open the gate!
too much pressure, and you'll lose him. Set your hook gently. This is a little more challenging than you believed, is it not? We've managed to secure the most powerful men on Earth to fulfill our agenda. Just look at the destruction they've caused in the pursuit of wealth and power. And yet here you are, struggling with one man with a weak mind on the brink of his own collapse. And yet you have not secured him. Keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. Where you know perfectly that the Lord will come like a thief in the night when they say peace and safety and sudden destruction will come upon them like a Who's out there? I am. The voice within your head. Look. Deep within your soul, Hunter. Search out its depths. Who controls you? Nobody controls me. Pride controls you. And your pride is bringing confusion to crossroads. You may think your intentions are noble, but you scorn all masters. And we serve no masters, that is. <laughs> For now, my pet. I do serve a master. Is this before me a great hero whose blindness to his own faults leads to his own demise? Ah. As you may think that you do. But at best, your faith is rooted in the foundation of sand. Keep it together. Together, Hunter. Hey, come on, boys. What's going on, Joe? We're gonna talk. Okay, so we try to figure some things out. What are we trying to figure out? Well, no one new or unexpected came through in the last couple days. What's up for your dad and Casey leaving? Gate hadn't been open. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Wally? Huh? How about you? I, I haven't seen anything either. You didn't even stick it out last night. You took off right after your leave. Probably left a little dribble, had to clean himself up. <laughs> now shut up, Frank! <laughs> Relax, Wally. I'm just messing with you. And don't ever tell me to shut up. Hey, take it easy, guys. You know what? I've had it with you messing with me. Hey, what is your problem? You're my problem. And if you say one more thing, I'm gonna make you regret it. Not on your best day. Get to the medical room, get yourself a Prozac. Chill out. Hey! Knock it off! If you ever try to pull stuff like that again, I'll kill you! Wally! Get off of him! Wally! You stay there! Hey man, come on, come on. Shut up. I gotta get out of here. Wally! What happened? Did something happen to you? Wally, what happened? I saw something. What, what? What did you see? When I went out to use the restroom, I felt like someone was looking at me. 
I turned around and I... I saw... What? What was it? I don't know what it was. But it was evil. I was staring at it face to face. But I couldn't see him. And then my nose started to bleed. And I had never been so scared in my whole life. Was it somebody from here? It wasn't somebody from here. I'm sorry I took it too far. Yep, me too, man. We good, man? Yeah. Yeah, hey, we're good. All right, so I need you guys to take a good look around. Starting with the routes between the gate and Randy's place, then search the immediate area outside the border for 100 yards, no further. What are we looking for? I don't know. But you're gonna know it if you see it. What about you? I've got some things I have to check up on, but... Listen, guys. This is the most important thing. Keep rooted in the word. I don't know what we're dealing with here, and... You need to keep your faith strong. Just keep your eyes on Jesus. All right? Your Bible can't help you now, can it? From here forward, there are only plagues and nightmares in store for you. You and every other little wretched bit of mud and ghost who doesn't understand what was written in your master's own book. Where is your God now in your greatest time of need? but we have to turn this off now, okay? It's my favorite show. Well, the show's over. We have to turn it off. We have to turn off the power. Is my daughter coming to see me? You're my daughter? Yeah, Papa. My name is Claire. Yeah. yeah. Claire. Buy some chocolate? Do you want some? I like chocolate. Yeah, Bobby, do you like it a lot? How's Hunter doing? You, re you remember Hunter? Hunter brought us here to protect us. Yeah. Yes, he did. We need to keep him in prayer. The enemy is going to test him. Attack him. What? What attacks are you talking about? Papa. Papa, what attacks are you talking about? That was good. Couldn't I have some more? Mom, what attacks? Oh, my special little demon. You've managed a little fear and chaos, and yet here you sit, alone. <laughs> chaos and fear are a time-honored operative's tool. So a panic. Doubt, pride, lust, political distractions. These are but the afterthoughts of good field operations. Is this all you desire? I have spent a millennia in the field. A millennia is but a speck of time. No! <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Aside from using time and space, travel and dimension alteration with the finesse of a three-legged dog? <laughs> All right. Show me. Anything. It's more effective. Targets like Hunter Wild thrive on chaos. It creates an adrenaline rush which simply focuses him not on us. 
The more you fling at him, the less likely he is to succumb. That will not be enough to drag him back to your cage. I want to keep you, Dan. But you've chosen a very tricky human. If you lose control of the dimensions, it will be very unpleasant for you. I haven't met a human that I couldn't overpower. I'll get him in the cage. Good. Because this cannot and will not continue indefinitely. I've authorized dimension alteration. I've shown you the secrets of domination. I've told you there are risks. Either you succeed and our enemy's mind breaks, or our enemy will break your mind and you will lose the target, or you will simply lose. I swore your oaths, and I will swear more. You haven't used the full extent of the power given. You'll see the full depth of my power. I had better. I did not put all of this into you in order to lose. Or perhaps you'd like to stay in this cage alone until doomsday. No. Tell me what you see of him. The first dimension, Hunter is, is fatigued, wounded. And the second dimension is his mind and his emotions in disarray. He's desperate. He's angry. He's grief stricken. He's afraid. Too many emotions to accurately describe. The third dimension is soulless. It's confused. And it's beginning to shrivel up like a rotten piece of fruit. And the fourth dimension. an empty space to fill. Think of what is good in him and turn it into his weakness. We're too gone. What are you doing out here? I'm hungry. Walk over here. Hold up. Come on over by the fire. Is there anybody out there? My dad. If dad's hungry, I can feed him. He's dying. What do you mean, dying? They all are. I'm the only one that hasn't gotten sick. Sick? Everyone just looks like monsters. Started with my grandpa. He's got these bumps all over his skin. And my grandma. Everyone's either dying or dead. My dad tried to keep me safe until he couldn't. Ella, is there anybody out there right now? They're pretty close. Get down! Under the car.
Don't make me kill you. Come to me. Come to me. Let's go. your father not anymore he died on the inside a while back I'm really sorry about that Ella can I come with you mister this? Of course. And you sleep? It was the best I've slept in a long time. Ella, listen, I swear to you, if there was any way I could have changed last night, I would It all had to end. Before my dad got sick, I know he was good. He was even saved. God's got to take that into account, right? Yeah, I believe so. So where are we going? Home. Crossroads. It's a small community of believers. But we're safe there for now. Is your family there? All I have left is my daughter, Joe. I think you really like her. It'd be nice to have a friend. That's the one thing I miss most, is just having someone to talk to. I think Joe would too. She missed out on being a teenager. Spent her whole time taking care of me, taking care of the town. She's a worker. Never once does she complain. If you had a safe place, why leave? Why not just stay there? I wish I knew. I get a little antsy. I just feel like I gotta keep moving. It's like something's chasing me. Ella, how did you not get sick? I don't know. I always just kept myself clean. And I sometimes wonder if I was immune somehow. You're a lucky kid. I want to call myself lucky. I just pray that my best days are ahead of me. Let's go. Just over 2,000 gallons. So what happens when it all runs out? Well, we're pretty close to our own fuel source. That's the least of our problems. You know, with everything that's going on right now, I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how everything happened. You think it's how God intended? What if Paul was right? Was rapture theory? Or any of this other crazy stuff going on? Look, all I know is if Jesus wanted us gone, we'd be gone. Yeah, but what if we're all here because we followed Hunter? We are all here because we followed Hunter. He built Crossroads. What if we made a mistake believing in Hunter and now we're stuck?
Wally, what? It wasn't human. What? The thing that I saw. The thing that killed Randy. What are you talking about? He's speaking the truth. He's seen the enemy that wants Hunter's soul. Rossi, where, where's Miss Claire? We all have been trying to explain away all the weird happenings here. Confusion has got a grip on the town. The enemy's not afraid to kill, and he has. But it's nothing compared to the battle that's to come. What are you talking about? Papa, Papa, you can't leave like that. Do you understand me? I couldn't find you. What's going on? Rossi, could you please tell Ms. Claire what you just told us? What did he say? Papa, tell me what you said. He said something about the enemy in a battle. What, Claire? Yeah. He said the same thing to me a couple of nights ago. Something about your dad. I wasn't sure. Wait, my dad? That's him. Should I go get the gate? Yeah, um, I'll go with you. Claire, if we're under some sort of attack, then we need to be prepared. I don't know. <laughs> What's he saying? Uh, I, I don't know, but we need to go. Okay. Papa? Papa, what are you saying? Looks like he's got something with him. Dad. What you got there? Picked up a stray. Ella, this is my daughter, Jo. Hi, Ella. Do me a favor, go get her cleaned up. Yeah, sure, come on. Well? Hey, but we need to talk. Yeah, we do. <sighs> Tell me the little brat is infected. Doesn't matter, Master. This is a different toxin. Ah, now I comprehend. This is a delightful turn. I thought the touch would suit your pleasure. It is a delicious recipe. Finish it, Dagon! <laughs> yep. Yep, that'll fit. Go try it on. So where's she gonna stay? You know what, she can stay with us. I think Rossi would love the company. If you could do that, that would be great. Thank you. Yeah. So how did this happen, just find a girl wandering out there? Look, she's been living on her own. Her whole family had some sort of disease, and her dad's Wait, been- what? What disease? I don't know. Mumps, Ebola, measles, I, I don't know. So you're telling me that you just put this entire town at risk of extinction? She doesn't have it. How do you know, Hunter? She's got no one, and I killed her father. Look, Dad, I'm sorry to sound so callous, but we've seen enough death, and, and now you're just willing to risk all of our lives over this. I'm the one that's been keeping us safe. I know what I'm doing. Not anymore. If Ella has something that can kill us all, I'm going to get Chris. Claire, don't go near anybody. I'm putting us on quarantine until she's tested. 
She has no symptoms. They would have shown up you by now. You don't know that. I held her hand, Dad. Why didn't you say something at the gate? She needed help, and I helped. You know better. Mr. Guys's ranch was ravaged by this, and now we might be too, thanks to you. No, I've had enough of this. She's fine. Oh, have you? Well, you're not leaving until we test that girl. I don't need your permission. Do not leave. Dad, do not leave! Dad! <laughs> Hunter Wild, balls tonight, crushed beneath the feet <laughs> Beholden to our every whim, now, the moral dimension. One last time. I told you that is a fool's errand. And I told you I have the problem solved. <laughs> you think you have answered the riddle, not even Aridu solved? Are you really so brazen as that? Dodged a bullet on this one. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Mr. Hunter saved my life. Hey, no, Ella, this is not your fault. Where'd he go? Um, uh, I don't know. But I'll go find him. He's probably just blowing off some steam. No, we came down pretty hard on him. No, we didn't. What he did was irresponsible, and we got lucky this time. He's got a lot of other issues that we need to deal with immediately. What Rossi said? Yeah. I will not release you from this cell. Even we do not engage in suicidal endeavors. I am accustomed to the physical world. I know it better than Eridu ever did. I will not throw away an operative with so much value. You will not break him anywhere but here. I will not release you from the advantage of my dominion. Very well. I will get him here as planned. <laughs> I'm on your side. I mean, without you, Crossroads would cease to exist. You are the one that is putting your life on the line. Does anyone appreciate what you do for them? No. Now, they mock you, gossip behind your back, accuse you of grotesque, False allegations. And they dishonor you. To them, you are nothing but a free ride to these lazy, complacent. 
complaining, whining people. <sighs> you are the only one that can provide for them. If anything, you are a hero. You are a god to be worshipped, not not, not mocked like these heathens at Crossroads! Dad, where are you? Hunter! There's a beautiful world out there. It's beyond anything that you can imagine. And our people have been planning it for a millennium. We need great leaders like yourself. Our people. These people that, that you thought were evil, they're not. These entities, they just want what's best for humanity. And they're willing to do anything to advance that mission. There's a new world order. And it's thriving. Worshipped like you deserve. Do what thou willst. Hunter! Dad! Dad, what are you doing? Did I see who, Dad? What did you see? Dad, you're really starting to scare me. You have to pull it together. This town is starting to crack. Dad, we believe in you, and we believe that this is a sacred place, and it is, but the cracks are starting to show. The bickering, the confusion. It's not of God. I can't find you. Everything's gonna be great. Dad, you're not fine. You're not. I, I can see it in your eyes, and you definitely don't have things under control. Dad, you're under attack. You realize that, don't you? Don't you? No. I'm good, Joe. That's a lie. I know you better than you know yourself. <laughs> Bravo. Spawn has a little bit of a backbone. <laughs> Go, you little witch. Playing big boy games here. Rossi was right. Rossi is brain dead. Spews nothing but nonsense. And you, you're a liar and a deceiver. What is one without the other? I am a liar. I'm a deceiver. But you, however, are ugly, dumb, stupid. Should I go on? In the name of Jesus, you have no authority here. Oh, 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 yes, you can call out on your God all you want. But he is mine. No, he'll never be yours, Dad. This thing has no authority over you. Fight it! I'm tired, Jill. I'm tired. Good. 
good. Give me your burdens. Cast your weariness on me. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Oh, your cries fall on death ears. For thine is the kingdom and the power, the glory forever oh, and ever. Pathetic piece of Deliver fire. us from evil. Ah! Dad? Dad? Dad! Help! Joe? Welcome back. You had a little trouble. I fulfilled my obligation hmm. of a worthy opponent. You delivered, it's true, but it's not yours completely. Not yet. so surprised and weak in the end. You believers are our greatest prize. And when you were banished from Crossroads by your family, you made it so easy to suck out your soul. They turn their back on you, Hunter. Arrogance, it's tolerable. The deception mm, brings confusion to Crossroads, but when you bring disease, the entire clan, every soul, You are alone. Even that wretched child of yours despises you. No. No. not there. He's a shell. He's in a different realm unseen to us. He's fighting for his life. As worthy of an opponent as you were, there's no reason to fight us, Hunter Wilde. No point in resisting when you've already lost. You have no power here. I have defeated you. Victory. Mine! 
Why won't he wake up? He's being tortured. He's gonna need our help. We need to call on our Savior with one heart. We need to do battle side by side with Hunter. And our only weapon is prayer. Paul. But, but I, I don't think my face. Stop! You're playing off of what they put in your mind. Your faith is strong enough. We need it now. Paul, please. What's happening? He's bleeding. something we can do. There has to be. All that we can do is pray. And we pray. Everyone. <laughs> you can't even control your own deplorable pet, Dagon. You are not worthy. I am worthy. No, you're not worthy. Oh, release me, and I will come back and establish my own dominion and over you now. Clemency is yours. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> He's coming back. He's coming back from where, Paul? Hunter has broken through the evil spiritual realm. It was you I saw here. You have no power over me, Dagon. You're flesh and blood now. This is an even fight. That was another dimension. Victorious over you. You have to fight it. 
You have to fight it, Dad. I don't fear you, Dagon. That's a lie! You fear me! I don't have fear. I've got faith in Jesus. Your faith is an illusion. Dear Lord, what's happening? No blood, Dagon. You can't kill me. My faith is strong. It's over! Hunter, I have beaten you! It's been one year since the world fell apart. And there's one thing that I've learned. Our Lord is faithful. He will strengthen us and protect us from the evil one if we authentically follow him. <laughs> 